you have been on a North American tour. You were in New York. Uh, recently, you, a couple days ago, you were in Montreal. You were going to give a speech at a popular restaurant called Ruby Foods, and it was shut down by threats from fascist censors. They, they managed to convince the restaurant where you had booked for a speech to cancel your speech. What were you going to say that caused these bullies to shut you down? I was uh, coming over here to talk about one thing, really, which was we cannot do anything about the threat of Islam until we first of all overturn the whole politically correct establishment. So I was going to talk about political correctness. I they sort of proved your point for you. Absolutely. Uh, there's a bit of irony there. Uh, how many people were scheduled to hear you speak at Ruby Foos? It was, it was around about 100. Um, we, we ended up doing it in the, in the host's house with about 15 of her closer friends that she, you know, that she could personally vouch for. So, so they didn't close the whole thing down. But we knew that the event was cancelled, but they still went to demonstrate there anyway. Hmm. Um, I, I find it depressing, uh, this kind of mob mentality. Um, I don't know if Ruby Foos knew the nature of your speech in advance and just caved in when maybe they got a terrifying phone call or even a bomb threat. Do you know any particulars of how they went about canceling your speech? Obviously, they knew who you were in advance. It wasn't a surprise or an ambush on them, was it? I think it was merely the fact that I'm associated with Pegida. And they view Pegida as this dreadful right-wing xenophobic blah, Who's they, blah. the protesters or the restaurant? The, the, the protesters. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.